Here we want to look at a quick algebra number theory type problem. So our goal is to find all primes p that can be written in the form x to the fourth plus 4y to the fourth, where x and y are natural numbers. And I want to point out here that we're going to use something called Sophie Germain's identity. So I won't write that here in case you want to try this problem without seeing the identity because it kind of gives it away. And while we're talking about Sophie Germain, I want to give a little shout out. So I was a visiting assistant professor at Colorado College in Colorado Springs, and we gave this award called the Sophie Germain Award. And on three of the years that I was there, we gave that award to one of my students that I did a um, advising for their senior project. And so one of them was Nate Mankovich, who's now a graduate student at uh, Colorado State in Fort Collins. One of them was Joe Howard, who now teaches high school around Boulder, Colorado. And one of them was Han Bo Sho. And I know that he did a postgraduate program in data science. And I sent him a text the other day, but I haven't um, heard from him. But anyway, if you are one of these three people, maybe put a comment in the um, comments and it'd be nice to like catch up. Okay, so now let's jump into this problem. So, like I said, we're gonna use this thing called Sophie Germain's identity, which allows us to factor this quartic polynomial. So here we're gonna take P, which is equal to X to the fourth plus four Y to the fourth, and we're gonna factor that. And we're gonna factor it like X squared plus something plus two Y squared, and then also as X squared minus something plus two y squared. So that's kind of the motivation here. Notice we've got x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. 2y squared times 2y squared is going to be 4y to the fourth. So that should set us up nicely. And then what are we going to do from here? Well, we got to find that middle term. And that's not too hard to do. So I'll let you guys play around with it. So what you'll have is 2xy here and also 2xy here. Next, what we want to notice is that since P is a prime and we have a factorization for this prime, that means one of these things has to be the number one. But since this second one is smaller than this first one, then that means this second one must be equal to one. And so that gives us some sort of equation that we can solve that is a lower degree and it doesn't involve this kind of unknown prime P, it's just got two variables, X and Y. So let's see what we've got now. X squared minus two XY plus two Y squared equals one. Again, X and Y are natural numbers. So let's see what we can do here. So the trick is that we almost have a perfect square binomial and we will have a perfect square binomial if we split this up into Y squared plus Y squared. So notice that gives us X squared minus two XY plus Y squared plus Y squared equals one like that. Next, we can group those first three terms and factor that as a binomial squared. So that'll give us X minus Y quantity squared plus Y squared equals one. Then it's not too hard to see that we've got two natural numbers or maybe in this case we can include zero since we have X minus Y and they are summing to one. So that means one of them has to be equal to zero and one of them has to be equal to one. Y is not allowed to be equal to zero and that's because we're over the natural numbers here. And anyway, if Y was equal to zero, then we would have P equal X to the fourth, but that wouldn't work for a prime. So that means we've got Y equals one and x minus y equals zero, which tells us that x is also equal to one. And that's actually the only possibility. So this ordered pair one, one is the only possibility that turns this into a prime. And what prime is that? Well, it's the prime five. And that's a good place to stop.